One of the most popular fads of recent years is the gender reveal party. It's a time where people get together and the couple doesn't know what the gender of their baby is, but someone else does who has prepared for them a way to discover what that is, whether it be cutting open a cake with pink or blue inside or hitting a pinata with pink or blue that come out or whatever else. Of all the things that gender reveal parties say about us as humans, one of those is that we find ways and times to celebrate joyful things. And a birth announcement is an extremely joyful time. The most significant birth announcement ever made wasn't made on Facebook or at a party gathering. It was made in a field to shepherds, an unsuspecting and unlikely group of people who received that announcement in the eyes of the people at that time. In the midst of a really tough time with a lot of unknowns in Israel's history, the birth of the Messiah and his entrance into the world, the joy of that message, it wasn't just for a certain group of people, but it would affect everyone and not just them then, but us today. As a final part of the Unknown series that we're in, maybe it's appropriate to end with the fact that not only will Jesus be with us in those unknowns, but it's more than just making it through. There is joy in the journey, and that joy needs to be told to everyone. Let's talk more about it Sunday. Hope to see you there.